Hello friends, welcome back, hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim, thanks for stopping by. Today, our friends over at Skyloom that make Luminar Neo just announced Focus Stacking, which is coming as one of the extensions in the 2022 extensions pack. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. There's still two more extensions that we don't know the names of yet, but they also shared a couple of visuals on the other extensions that have been uh, previously announced, which would be AI Background Removal and Upscale AI. I don't have the product, so I can't demo any of these, but I will be talking about it here in this uh, basically slideshow. Um, I wanted to share a little bit of information and just share what I know so far. Of course, as soon as I have it, I'll be um, doing demos on it. Um, you may know there's a number of offers you can either purchase outright or choose a subscription to Luminar Neo, and you can get the extensions pack either as an add-on if you're purchasing outright, or uh, if you do the full subscription, you get it that way. So there's a number of different options for purchasing or subscribing online. You can check that out there. I do ask if you do decide to get any of this, use coupon code JimNixNeo, which will save you $10, and it's a free way to support me. And of course, you know, I'll be here every week making videos about this stuff because I love it. So, so far the 2022 extensions pack is already HDR merge and noiseless AI, which we have, as you can see here, we're getting AI background removal and upscale AI, and they just announced focus stacking. So that leaves two more because they said there will be seven. So an educated guess at this point would probably be some sort of sharpening AI. And I don't know, maybe pano or some kind of lens effects. I don't know, I'm guessing on the next two. We'll find out soon enough because they're all coming before the end of the year. Now, AI background removal, as you can see here, they basically said, as the name implies, it's gonna remove the background behind a subject and it detects up to nine different kinds of subjects. You get to select which ones to keep, that's plural, so it sounds like you could take a couple of subjects from a photo and keep them and remove that background, and a refinement brush uh, is included in that tool, it sounds like. So, very cool, lots of fun stuff I think that we can do. Upscale AI up to 6x enlargement, which I think is very cool. And so whether you're cropping like a landscape or if you're shooting wildlife, for example, that could be potentially a huge benefit to your workflow. And of course, they just today announced focus stacking used a lot of times in macro photography, but also in landscapes and things like that. Stacking up to 100 source images. I think that's going to be really interesting. I can't wait to try these things out. And like I said, as soon as I have them, I'll be here to uh, share that with you. I just wanted to share this news today. Now, they did provide a couple of visuals, and I'll just go ahead and hit play on this. And you can see here they isolated the bear from that first photo and that mountain range from the second photo, and they stuck them together. So they basically took two different instances, it looks like, of the background removal and stuck them together and then applied that kind of planetary uh, background from some other image. So lots of creative flexibility here, it looks like, to do kind of the fun, creative of things that you know you may like to do just like I like to there's another example here which I thought was really cool uh, the first instance they isolate the boat and put it in a new location but the second one they actually isolate the mountains and the trees in the background and then put a new foreground in place so again lots of creative options a lot of cool things that you can do with these uh, extensions and of course, Upscale AI, you can see here an example of where you focus in on something small like that boat and 4X, you know, increase it by 4X in order to get a usable photo from within your photo. I think that's awesome. And as I said previously, the, uh, the use of this around wildlife would be potentially huge simply because if you're out shooting wildlife, you need really long lenses. And uh, theoretically, you could save thousands of dollars if the Upscale quality is as good as we expect it to be, then you could literally save really a whole lot of money because if you don't have the proper lens length and those lenses are expensive, then this could help you get closer to the uh, the subject in wildlife photos. And of course, in landscapes, it's useful as well. We could isolate one cool or interesting part of a landscape and basically upscale that to make a usable photo. So that's what's coming. We've got HDR, we've got noiseless, we're getting background removal, we're getting upscaling, we're getting focus stacking, and then two more. So as soon as I have these updates to the product, I'll be here making videos about it. I just wanted to share the news that they announced today because a lot of people have asked me, hey, do you think they'll include focus stacking? And of course, now the answer is, Yes, I do think that because they just announced it today. So pretty exciting. I'm, I'm really interested to see what the last two are. Like I said, I had a couple of guesses, Sharpen, maybe Pano, maybe Lens Effects. I don't know. They're not speaking to me about it. Uh, so 
as soon as I know, I'll share that as well. But I wanted to share this with you. I'm excited about how this Luminar Neo platform is expanding and giving us a lot more capability that's optional add-ons. If you own a perpetual license and want to get it, you can buy it as an add-on pack. And if you don't feel like you need it, then you don't have to, of course. So um, I just love what they're doing and expanding this capability. And remember, this is the 2022 extensions pack, which implies there'll be a 2023 extension pack with even more new, interesting, and different, and probably really cool stuff coming. So that's the way I'm looking at it. I'm excited to see what's happening. Just wanted to share this bit of news with you. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer it. But again, I haven't seen these updates to the product yet, and I'll be here sharing it as soon as I do. Hope you guys are as excited about this as I am. I'll be back soon with more videos. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys take care of yourselves. And by the way, if you're interested in Luminar Neo, you might want to check out that video where I talk about some key things that will really help you control the light really well in your photos. I'll be back soon, my friends. You guys take care. And until then, adios.